So I'm going to go into Dynamics 365. For those of you who are on AX 2012, you'll notice that Dynamics 365 is a web-based client. You no longer need to RDP into anywhere or open up a separate program. It is simply go open up your web browser, whichever one you like, go to a certain link, put in your username and login, and you're on the system. Note that Microsoft has released a new multi-factor authentication. So now when you log in, you either have to put in a code that gets texted to you. So those features are available now as well. And so that's something to be cognizant of. So what you see on my screen is the main page for Dynamics 365. What you see over here are called workspaces. Workspaces are amalgamations of links and KPIs and other areas that would be useful to you when you're doing a specific task. All these workspaces are configurable to each individual user. You'll notice that I have a number of them on my screen. This is because I'm a system administrator. Your security role will dictate which of these workspaces you have access to. And from there, you'll be able to do whatever it is that you do on your day-to-day -day basis. So let's get into some of the new features. So let's talk about one AR or collections specific feature. So this exists in your collections module, which again, if you're coming from AX 2012, this is a new module unto itself. It is not buried within AR as it used to be, but this is your credit collections module. And a new thing we have is under customer write-off reason codes. Customer write-off reason codes existed even in the older versions as well. But one of the new things they've added is they've added GL codes. So in AX2012, whenever you wrote off an invoice, it would just go to one GL code that you had specified within your customer posting profile. Now in D365, each reason code can go to its own GL code. So now you have the ability to do better reporting within your financial statements. So for example, you can see, well, how much am I actually writing off to Goodwill versus how much of it was damaged or lost or anything on those lines. You can see that this is a global screen, so you can set certain ones up for each legal entity. But yes, this allows you to do multiple GL codes. So you see, if we go into our age balances, and let me just pick one of my, I'll pick Bert. And we have a number of open invoices, so let me write this off. And here you can see, I choose whichever one of my user defined list you can make relevant to your business. But once I pick that, the GL code is selected, but not overridable. So your AR clerk or your collections clerk can choose the reason code, but they cannot choose which GL code it's gonna hit. And you press okay. Then you can either choose to have this automatically write off, or in the case of my environments, we have it set to create a journal, which then needs to be approved. So I go into my general journal and you can see there it is. So if I drill into here, created two lines because we had revenue going to two different, but looks good and I post it. So that's a new feature that exists in credit and collections that did not exist in AX 2012. 